What is this Trek God and Nate Kong feature? Oh, dude, Featuring J Per with the shit. Oh no, dude. Oh no. <laughs> what is this? No. Oh, dude, this is my rap video from high school. No. <laughs> Wait, why are people just outing you, dude? Oh shit. This is why you're so good at yeah, identifying. Uh, All right. This is why you're so good at identifying white rappers. So like dope. you're just like you know you got a nose for this thing. And just before we watch this, let me just say. Okay. Okay. Give us the. Give I've us had the, the opportunity to take this offline, but. I like just being able to see it. I like when people find it. But yeah. Isn't it like, isn't it kind of like, is that actually, have you ever seen Jack Harlow's like kid rap? Yeah. Is that actually him? People are saying that yeah. that's not actually him. But like, that was kind of good. Like, I don't know, for like being a kid. Let's, yeah. let's own the cringe here. Let's do it. How old are you? Uh, 16. Oh, hell yeah. Kruger. Yeah. That's a that's a bold intro sequence. That's me. Come on, dude. Are you with the shit? Yeah. I'm with the shit. Are you with the shit? I'm with the shit. Wait, which one are you? Are you Nate Khan, Trek God? No, I'm Trek. That's me. Oh my god, go back, that's go back, you. Go back, go back, go back. Damn, dude. Yeah, that's me, man. Holy shit, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Saying fuck it, man. I'm always with the shits. And if I die tomorrow night, I ain't dying <laughs> oh, like a bitch. Man, just hit me, I'll be always smoking right. And Wait, this is like not that bad. I'm not even kidding. You think it, so? Yeah. I'm saying that you sipping, but we pour up by the pint. I'm saying fuck it, man. I'm always with the shits. And if I die tomorrow night, I ain't dying like a bitch. True. Not dying like a bitch, man. Oh, that's good. 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 That's Dude, you got the white boy flow, dude. My dream is to... This is literally like the young Jack Harlow rap, where it's like, it's not like so disastrously bad that it's like otherwise embarrassing, you know what I mean? You just got like... Yeah. My dream is to go back in time and interview... Oh, you got like... Wait, is, is this like... What year? Is this 2014? I have the lean there because uh, I'm rapping in front of my own graffiti, and I got scared that, I, you know, it would be identified, so... I told the uh, director, I was like, just put a lean cup on there so I don't get. Wait, but isn't that like, uh, what's his name? This is like, this this has like, uh, like this is something that ha they do a lot now, uh, like in the post like Adam Twenty Two world. What, what's the guy who like does all the videos for all the? He did all the videos for like all the uh, SoundCloud rappers. Cole Bennett. Yeah, that's like Cole Bennett vibes, lyrical lemonade, exactly. Yeah. So you invented that. I invented it. You did it before Cole Bennett did. I need my. That's right. You need your recognition for that, I think. But like, I wish I could interview my younger self so bad, because mm -hmm. I would be like potentially a Channel Five interview subject. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, but that's why. Listen, our younger versions of ourselves allow us to to you know be able to accurately assess certain things. You know, you, that's why you can like. Mm -hmm. uh, dive into these subjects. That's why you can find all the white rappers, like I said. Yeah. Oh my god, look at his fit. Evan. Oh, that is like... <laughs> I mean, all of your fits are... are but this is like, specifically... He looks yeah. like he plays lacrosse. Yeah, Evan still kind of has that swag. For those who don't know, Evan is the uh, third, I guess... Member of Channel 5. He's the CFO. <laughs> That's awesome. He looks so not trying to be there. <laughs> yeah. Straight out of Sunday school. <laughs> <laughs> Sipping dirty with the flavor. Mix it with the flavor. Portland, right? Or no? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Seattle. Yeah. I-5 South. Scrape it straight to oh, the yeah. cash. Surfing on the Okay, huh? Oh, is that a Burberry, dude? You got the burb. Hey, yeah, I had the burb. Look at that, dude. <laughs> this is like, you got the bargain <laughs> bin Burberry, like off the clearance rack. This is like, yo, shit. This is designer, son. I felt, I felt really fly this day. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. The burb. Hey, with 
this SoCal dope and a new bad bitch. You know, she keeps it 100. Oh! <laughs> Is that the is that the SoCal bitch that keeps it 100? Yeah, look how look at the emoji. She's keeping it real. Yeah. Bro, I feel like so I didn't grow up here. I didn't grow up in America, as you know. Yeah. So like I feel like this is what I imagined high school was like for Americans, where they would get together in the forest and like drink alcohol and like yeah. smoke weed. So Seattle has a bunch of different like public parks. So we have these things called spodies, what you're seeing here. Mm -hmm. Where every like Friday every Friday after school we meet in these parks and then somebody would get a like a giant cooler filled up with like shitty alcohol and like jungle juice or Tampico. And they would sell cups. So the Spody Master would sell cups. And this is every Friday, every Saturday. So it was like, you get out of school, you just go to the park. We have this one spot called 520. This is a spot called Woodland, which was like the North Seattle Spody spot. And then, so this this is probably 4.30 p.m. Friday afternoon, one hour out of school. Hell yeah, and you guys are just yeah. getting lit. Every day, like blacked out. Andrew, can you get Hassan to do Powerful Truth Angels, please? I was just with those fools. Oh, What's yeah. Powerful Truth Angels? It's a Two-Tone and Maddie's podcast. Oh, oh, Two times oh. from like born and raised. Wait, what? Where do you? Are you? Oh, oh, watch out for the camera. Don't show your uh, phone. What? Sorry. What oh. happened? I don't know. Oh I'm yeah. Just, like I just want to be. It's twenty-one thousand. There's got to be a hacker somewhere. Yeah. Oh, Pago Italian hands. That's definitely Naveed. Yeah, it's Naveed. I knew it. What? I just such a Naveed meme. That guy's awesome, dude. Yeah, he's the he's the Cash App guy. He's Mr. Cash App. It's he's got a wire. Yeah, you got a wire. I'm wearing a wire. Um, you know, because uh, I'm saying a lot of secret stuff to 34,000 <laughs> people, so it's good that he's like also getting the audio. Boost gain, lower your speaker volume. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's let's finish this off. I wanna I wanna see the the end of this. Oh! Those are bombs. Those are bombs. Those are bombs blowing up. Yeah. Those are your lyrics. Yeah. They're they're, they're blowing up. It's are you gonna go to ComplexCon? I'm going, yeah. Yeah, I might, I might hit it up too. I, I don't know if I'm gonna be here, but if I am, I'm definitely yeah. going. Seattle in the summer, it's hotter than the mother. Easy bake oven. I'm skinning and I'm jugging. That's a, that's a line. That's, that's it. That's that, those are bars. Look how much fun we're having. Yeah, because it's <laughs> hotter than a mother. Easy bake oven. It was hot that day. Look at Evan dancing. Like that's like 10 levels with of fun. Oh. Wait, is this a UCLA? What the no, fuck? No, it's Garfield High School in Seattle. Oh, damn. It's nice. I'm saying, fuck it, man. I'm always with the shit. Who? Have I met him? Yeah, that's I've me. met. Yeah, that's okay. I was going to say, he looks. Bro, all your friends look so different now. They look like yeah. older. I mean, I guess. Me yeah. and him look really similar here. We look like we're twins. Yeah. But die tomorrow night. I ain't dying like a bitch. Like a bitch. Man, just hit me. I be always smoking right. And you saying that you sit there. Okay, now now he's getting into it. Now like, Evan's drinking. Yeah, at first he's like, <laughs> this shit. This is embarrassing. Yeah. And now he's like, nah, I'm with it. I'm with the shit. American Eagle. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck it, man. I'm always with the shits. And if I die tomorrow night, I ain't dying like a bitch. Man, just hit me, I'll be So, like, why, why did you think you were not dying like a bitch if you died tomorrow? Like, what were you doing? Well, <laughs> and you were really with the shit. Was it just like vandalizing? Like, a yeah, little bit of yeah, graffiti? Yeah. Graffiti and like, like a lot of drinking. So, I was like, you know, I'm gonna like, you know, drink myself <laughs> today yeah. at this body. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. I'm not going out like a bitch. Like, I'm gonna fucking, you know. Died at liver poisoning. Yeah, from but, I, but I would like be aware that I'm doing it and be like really running into it, you know. Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is Represent clan, but they can't remember goddamn mix it with the purple as a secret to the quick stand. Should we cut the kicks that do heavy need to relax? I think I need to recharge a couple bucks of how to back a forty five minute fraud with the beer when you know about the shit, so I'll say it loud and clear. Through that poor yard, dude. Your end is near. I'll take you off the map, make you disappear. West side is time to act from fucking with the yappy caps. I'm trying to keep my mind attack and losing grass and burning bags. It's like a track and move the pack to take the cash and never laugh. Have enough to smoke the western track to take Every every white boy rap group needs one of these guys who can like spit real fast. Yeah. Like you need to have that guy. <laughs> yeah. This is this is like made perfect by his his involvement. <laughs> the chat's going crazy. Yeah, they're bopping. Someone, someone dude. said faster. 
Yeah. Once with all these sessions, guess I never learned my lesson. Habits so progressive, about my dollar so possessive. Yeah. Only cash money, I don't take no fucking debit. I'm the black collector fees, all of y'all indebted. Yeah. You probably see me posted up in my North Face. Sound burning, plugging his name ain't ever done. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And everyone started being As like, one does. Everyone started being like, Island Boy, or something like that. And I was like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? And someone was like, oh, you gotta, you gotta interview these two guys. So I DM'd them and they instantly were like, let's hop on FaceTime. And uh, I don't know. People hate them though. Like I, I posted something, I was like, should I interview these guys? And everyone was like, don't give them any more attention. Wait, like, what? Well, how are you not going to? These guys are, I mean, they're content, dude. They're content yeah. through and through. For those of you who don't know, let's, let's, let's just catch people up to speed for a second. These guys are uh, from the island of, I guess, Florida, the Rhode Island. They're from Broward County, Florida. Oh yeah. Well, I, I, I actually thought that they were going to be like, I just suspect that, well, first of all, they're, they're white Cuban guys. I just thought oh, okay. that like, they're, you know, the children of like a CPA or something. Cause like, I don't think they're, I mean, maybe, maybe they are from not so affluent beginnings, but it doesn't feel like that. It, it feels like it just came straight out of like, uh, you know. Cause yeah. I'm an island boy and I've been trying to I've never to seen make. this before. Oh, I'm an island boy. I, I'm a just island boy. Wait, you haven't seen I'm this? I'm an island boy. <laughs> I'm a just keep white wine. I'm gonna keep that gun. I'm gonna just stand at the sign. What I'm just a full gazing. I'm like, who else? This stay. is the final evolution of Chet Hanks, dude. I don't think, dude. Chet's, Chet's so mad at me right now. It's crazy. Really? Yeah. It's fucking he, he's weird. still mad at you for the Dude, speaking speaking of uh, guys who definitely do smoke. I don't know if it's weed or crack, but here is we're back to the island boys. I'm an island boy and I've been trying smoke. to make. Oh, I'm an island boy. Hey, I'm a just island boy. I'm a just island boy. Ooh. I'm a get key white wine. You gonna keep that gun? I'm gonna get key white wine. Why did this go viral? Just like, Jesus, so, bro, why did this go viral? They're I so mean, nasty. I've met people like gnarly than that. I mean, but like, they're gnarly, but they're like media friendly gnarly. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's gnarly within an acceptable framework of like gnarly. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not like ICP boys where yeah. it's like, okay, I can't even put this on TV. Yeah. Whereas like, you definitely can. And also, I, apparently, Kodak was putting them on too. Probably just because he thinks it's funny. Like, yeah. I mean, to, to grow white dreads is one thing, but to have white wicks, which is the name of this hairstyle, is just above and beyond effort wise. Really? What is it? How, how do you get that? You just, I, I don't, like, I can't, I've never seen a white dude with wicks like that. Even, and I've been all through Florida. Like, Damn, not like if that. you haven't, if you haven't seen a, a white boy with, with wicks. Not like that. That's crazy. Is the one in the pool wearing shoes? I th oh, oh my, my God, I've watched the video a million times. I never noticed. He straight up is wearing basketball shoes. It's like disturbing. That's gonna ruin the shoes. Well, that, that every part of this is disturbing, okay? <laughs> every part of this is disturbing. Uh, first of all, full full basketball shorts and also Under Armour, like what the f in yeah. the pool? Just staring at the sun, I'm just out full staring gazing. I'm like, well, pool, where I'm staying. They're like, you wanna be famous? I'm trying to be out with all greatest. I'm gonna float all boy. They got a real damn tropic. I'm like, the dumb, I'm the tropic. Uh -huh. I'm an island boy, I put my vest on, yeah. Like a wild grown man, trying to make it to the top. I'm an island boy, make it. I ain't seen it with the gang, gang swing. You ain't just I gotta skip no that part, it's like blurred. I'm through the storm, through the I've been and I banned Lil Chris for sending me that before, but because we tried home like a line from the island boy from the Caribbean. Okay, so I go why I'm an island boy, put my vest on ya. I don't know why they go, I don't really know why they went viral to be honest with you. It's not that really, it's not that funny. I mean, it's just like they're gnarly. That's yeah, what yeah, it yeah. is. They're it's like the, they're twins too, and obviously, yeah, they're gnarly. They're twins. They got like crazy ass tattoos and shit. We Cubans do not claim these guys. Uh, sorry, dude. Yeah, you do. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> they are though, and uh, it is what it is. The blonde one has Tim's in the pool. Wait, no way. Are you fucking? Ki oh, he's got shoes on too. I've never seen somebody with Tim's on in Florida. Wait, no, he doesn't have shoes on, bro. His no, feet are... No, Tim's and Broward. The heck are you saying? Yeah. Um, full chest piece, nothing on their backs. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I mean, the Hoff twins are uh, are better than these guys. They should oh, do yeah. a twin off. We think White Rapper Island. It's like Survivor, but you get... Yeah, they're both island, no, island boys. Saying, you get the Hoff twins, you get those guys, and we get uh, maybe like some Chet type people. We put them on island, and then you just say the end where you get... Kicked off, so it's like the, the first impossible game. difficulty. Yeah. Everyone gets kicked but off in the first hour. If you hour. don't say the n word, you you like you win White Rapper Island. 
impossible. Like, so no one will win. We I mean, like we will. We win. have like camera guys in the trees and stuff. We will win because that content is incredible. But yeah, do you think White Rap Island is a good idea though? I love that, one hundred percent. We'd have to rent a private island somewhere in like maybe Key Key yeah, West. Like, I heard Little Little St. James is available. Is it really? That would be next level. White Rapper Island took what, place. Jeffrey on. Epstein's Island. If that's where White Rapper Island took place, and we didn't tell them. <laughs> that would be something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can rent out Jeffrey Epstein's Island, dude. No. So Call it Whiteland Boys, like Wyland, like White Island. I think White Rapper Island is more. Yeah. yeah. Straight to the point. The blonde one has a two. Like twenty zero one tat on his chest, like that's probably his birthday, dude. I wonder if they'd get along with the Hoff twins. I think the Hoff twins would look at them and be like, "You guys are clowns." They, I mean, are they actually from Broward County? Like, yeah, I feel yeah. like they have like real, you know, upper middle class, like well, children of upper middle class suburbanites energy. Broward County has pretty affluent areas, like uh, downtown, like Fort Lauderdale and stuff like that. That's true. Yeah. I, I feel like I don't know why. I don't know anything about their background, but I just straight up feel like they're the children of like, uh, you know, CPA. I'd be interested to see how they were brought up. Yeah, exactly. Because they could just be highly influenced by the music scene. There, some of the best music ever comes out of Broward. Yeah, it's crazy. W not this. No, but to like, be fair. I mean, most of the shit that I listen to rap wise is from Florida. Get Mark Wahlberg to host White Boy Island. That'd be a perfect <laughs> gig for him. <laughs> that is the. Or Chris Hansen will do it for like ten grand. Uh, yeah, Chris Hansen. Chris, he he Chris hosted Hansen. he hosted the Juggalo Gathering. Man, his price is super down. Oh yeah, I feel like he's he'll do it for he'll do it for the clout. Didn't he, he get arrested for tax evasion? Or something, right? Did he? Yeah, Chris Hansen oh, got man. to know. catch a to catch he a tax evader. Not as a predator, but as a financial. I, I support tax evasion though. <laughs> no, I I disavow <laughs> that. Kidding. Uh, they're white and Cuban. They come for money. I mean, not all white Cubans come for money, at least now. You know, there was a guy who took all of that away from them, unfortunately for them. Who, Enrique? <laughs> yeah, Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> His name was Fidel Castro. This is yeah. the most effective anti-Cuban CIA propaganda ever. Wow. Wait, no, because, like, white Cubans are the CIA, so they are completely aligned with the interests of the CIA. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>